ever tried making French fries the Chinese style? Never? Let's make it today. So let's make French fries pepper salt. Very simple, very easy and super tasty. So to make perfect french fries what do we need? We need a variety of potato which is non-starchy. So what happens is the starch in the potato is less and because of which the potatoes don't go brown when you fry it whereas they turn crisp and they go golden in color. That is the only reason for which you need to get non-starchy potatoes. And once you have your non-starchy potatoes, all you have to do is just peel them like you peel your regular potato. And also, apart from that, I have a pan in which I have kept water to boil. And you know what? You should make like loads of it and keep it in the freezer. How? I'll show you. It is so easy. The day you get the trick right, I'm sure you will not go and buy the frozen market french fries. So the potato is done. So I've got water boiling in this. I want to put some salt and we let this come to a boil and I'll show you how to cut the potato. Try and get longer ones, big potatoes like these and just trim the edge first. So when you slice this off, this stays like this. So you have to just trim the edges so that you have potatoes that will stay on your chopping board and not slip off. Yes, like this and then you just have to cut them into thick slices like this. Perfect. After which, just place them on your chopping board like this and just cut them into batons. So you have your fries done. Okay, the fries, just wash them up once in this bowl. So in case if there's any extra starch, that'll get washed off. Nevertheless, we have to now blanch them in the boiling water. Here you go. So the minute you put the paridos in, you can actually cook them for about three to four minutes, not more than that, because you have to let it stay slightly raw. Do not cook it completely or else it will break and we want them nice and firm because after this we are going to cool it and then refrigerate it. Sorry, we are going to put it in the freezer. So they have to stay frozen after which you actually put them in hot oil and fry. So if you see, I have a kadai here in which there is oil. So this kadai has oil which is hot and I am going to fry the fries in this. But prior to that, the fries which have been inside, we need to get it out, cool it put it in a Ziploc bag and then put it in the freezer. So the fries which are now in this water, we'll have to drain it off. So you can drain it out into a bowl of water if you want to cool it immediately. But I suggest you let it stay in a plate, switch off the heat and remove the fries. So these are right now absolutely hot and they are of course not completely cooked as well. So once this cools down, we'll put them into Ziploc bags like how I'll show you. So once this cools, we put it in a Ziploc like this and put it in the freezer. Pack it up nicely, fold it and leave it in the freezer overnight. So after it is frozen, you will have this frozen fries which we will now fry in hot oil. I just leave this in the freezer. So here my fries are frozen and the pan has got enough of oil. So while the fries get golden in color, let's cut some spring onions. So here you go, onions are done, coming back to the fries. So the fries are done, let's get them out. And now let's toss the french fries in the pepper salt way. So for which we need to take some oil. Here goes the onion. some garlic, a little bit of ginger, 
celery. I like it, so lots of it. And some green chilies. Saute this up on high heat. Don't let anything brown. Pepper salt. So obviously we need to add pepper to this. Salt as well. The fries that we had fried and kept. All of it inside. A little bit of sugar. Just a little bit. Got some stock cubes. Crushed and kept. So that goes in here. And of course, Chinese, so a little bit of soya. Just a little bit. And but I need to taste one to see if all the flavors are right. I'll need a little bit of salt to this. And even a little bit of pepper would do. The spring onion greens that we've cut and kept goes in here and it's done. Switch off the heat, serve it piping hot because it's going to get soggy a little later. So this was the Chinese style french fries pepper salt for you. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe.